أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته you're most welcome to another edition of your program wise ladies inshallah today on the program we are going to be discussing something also very very important in our lives as female Muslims I wouldn't let you know the topic until we come back after this short break my name is Ghani Azwakat don't go away Yes, you're welcome back. And the program is still wise, ladies. Inshallah, today on the program, we are going to be going, we're going to be talking about health. I mean, we're going to be talking about personal hygiene. Is it necessary for us to maintain a very good hygiene? What does Islam say about that? And how do we go about that? These are many more we shall be discussing on the program today. And as you know, I'm not always alone on this program. I'm joined by my lovely sister, Nafisa Kamal Sulaiman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're most welcome. Thank you. And today, inshallah, we are joined by a professional in the house, and I'm talking about Dr. Ibipo Moinot Abdurahim Salami. She is um, a medical officer at Marina Medical Services. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel so, so um, happy that today we are going to be discussing something health, you know. Yeah. It's, it's really very important. How yeah. do you see that, Nafisa? It's, it's very, very important, you know. Even in Islam, we're made to understand that cleanliness is close to godliness. So, mashallah, I think it's an important topic, you know. It's very, very important for us to know how we should, you know, take good care of our body. That's the personal hygiene. Mashallah, I know she will do us good by, you <laughs> know, explaining you know, if, few if, things if, for if us. Just be both it's of actually us not going be. to be an elaborative something, you know, but at least she's going to give us tips ways that we can go to you know make ourselves good look good and you know understand basic things you know about, our about ourselves okay let's get let's get started let's let's start this way before let's talk about um what is personal hygiene i mean sorry let's talk about hygiene first. Uh, what i is think hygiene? It's, it's better that way yes okay hygiene comes like an umbrella term for practices that you do to maintain health okay. so you can talk about um, personal hygiene food hygiene occupational hygiene mm -hmm. anything that you do to so maintain health, health yeah so we're talking today I understand about personal, personal hygiene, hygiene. Okay. and so a lot of times you know we try to tell people that I mean as far as providing health care is concerned okay. you will do the the biggest part of yeah, the job yeah. for yourself, for yourself. Yeah. I mean you would have done it to some large extent before anybody else can okay. do anything so That's personal it. hygiene okay. yeah no no probably I, I just wanted to make a proverb you know, <laughs> so like personal you. hygiene is extremely yeah. important Very it's that important. part that you do for yourself okay. okay yeah so um when it comes to personal hygiene i mean there's simple tips that we we talk about and a lot of times we take these things for granted okay. yes we've learned them in elementary science Basically, and in integrated science, science. <laughs> even in biology yeah but then we get Sometimes overconfident and then we yeah <laughs> exactly. and then we take them all for granted yeah. but okay. then they're still very very important. very very important, important. yeah I think for, from the word important that you said, it makes me realize that even Islam is a very beautiful religion. Yeah. I mean, have you gone through the pages of zero where you hear that the Professor Islam, Allah upon Allah. hearing the news that he has a guest waiting for him, you know, he tries to brush up his beard, yeah. you know, try to look good and everything, look good before his, his guest. So, but why wouldn't we want to do that as well as Muslims? I think, particularly about female, how is it how important is it for us to maintain a very good hygiene? Because this program is a wise for this program. Yeah, you know, I think it's it's better this way for her to go through this question. Like okay. probably you know just pick the various you know um parts of the body probably how we can yes. actually take very good care of ourselves starting from you know the, the head, head to the toe you know okay. i think that will give us tips okay. and then okay. we'll have it will be better that way go. yeah but starting from the head i'd like to correct a notion okay, okay. some people <laughs> think <laughs> some people think women like us who are covering our heads okay. don't have any reason to take so care to of our yeah, hair so, yeah. alhamdulillah. and i'd like to tell that we probably do it more than the others exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you know that's aside okay. um taking care of your hair is extremely important okay. because yeah. if you don't it can you know be a source of problems for the rest of the exactly. body okay. actually the hair can harbor other things exactly. <laughs> okay, like like what head lice sometimes oh, it can you know come to the rest of the body body lice. yeah okay, so yeah the body lice as well so 
it's very important definitely to yeah to take very good care of, and how do of we your do hair yeah washing it okay regularly yeah choosing what you need to wash it some of us will need ordinary shampoo okay but some of us will need anti-dandruff shampoo okay. so you've got to choose carefully what you need okay. because i mean if you don't use the one that you're supposed to you can have it's fungi have actually right. growing in your hair so how do we determine yeah. which is best for us to use which we are supposed to use yeah your, 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 your hairdresser will tell you this usually if they see dandruff in your hair don't ignore it use anti-dandruff shampoo okay. yeah. yeah so and then you take care of your hair you make your hair very very important okay. let your hair you know let your hair air yeah. <laughs> i think i, I like think that. i get that, that. that, that, that. <laughs> that. Do you remember that i think it's a so let it air yeah oh my god okay. baby, yeah. yeah and then you know another thing is not letting perfume do the job okay, okay. yeah you know sometimes we expect too much of the perfume yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know people use perfume that's to mask true. all sorts that's of true. things and it doesn't work it doesn't it, it doesn't, doesn't work, work. But before you know it, in the next five minutes the Your real, true colors the real thing is coming out <laughs> 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 with the fact that even as female muslims we're not you know you're not yes to spray perfume exactly and, and go out so i think islam don't you think it's islam has actually set it taking for care us. you know body. we should go for the natural feature yeah I mean, going but for sisters who are in a dilemma as to what antiperspirants or deodorants use? They're actually odorless ones. Okay. Yes. They're odorless antiperspirants, odorless and uh, deodorants who w that can you know do the job and not unduly you know okay. give you scents that you don't want you know like, that you don't yeah. want okay, so to after the go hair, around what's, with what's you. The next? Yeah. So the rest of the body okay. as well. Um, the skin is very very important. I mean, okay. sometimes you could be judged by what your skin looks like. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So Honestly. it's like it's, it's extremely important and part of you know taking care of your skin is you know having your bath properly. Okay. As important. basic as it is. Sometimes, I mean, Alhamdulillah, we are Muslims, whether we like it or not, <laughs> it's part of our religion yeah, to do that. Exactly. So Alhamdulillah, that's, you know, is sorted out. But then, you know, as part of that, it should be done properly. Okay. It should be done properly. Um, besides that, you have the teeth. Okay. From time to time, we should go for scaling and polishing. No matter how good you are at brushing your teeth, what you can you never. Um, that is what the the dentist will do to okay. take out the plaques at the bottom of the, okay, you know, important. yeah, that the, the, the part of the teeth you know, that's just adjoining the gum. Yeah, they take out all those plaques okay. there. Yes. So well, they have. Why do they have to take out those things? Does it constitute anything? Does yeah, it? because as effective as we think we are, you can never truly get out all the debris when you True brush brushing, oh, right? with okay. the toothbrush okay. yeah and then to to make it worse most of us don't do it twice exactly <laughs> i don't know a lot of us just do, you know some people wouldn't Honestly. even do it you know some people tell you okay some people do 0 0.75 exactly. <laughs> yeah I mean, that's, that's, that's the real yeah so yeah so besides that try to brush twice okay you know don't let them judge you with what your mouth would smell like yeah <laughs> try to brush <laughs> twice yeah, it's and very, then very scaling important. and polishing once a year very good okay. keeps your teeth back in okay. you know in shape yeah besides that um well the other things that are peculiar what to we women ear? yeah the ear as well the ear as well um well try what i notice with the ear is that people use a lot of um cotton, cotton board. yeah cotton bud that are not really made for that purpose oh, okay. so you mean there are they, some cotton yeah there's some fake made? ones wow. i guess so yes how do, we, how do we learn that how do we know the real and the fake i think you should stick to the ones that are sold in pharmacies and okay. maybe when you bring out one you try to remove mm -hmm. the body okay, cotton yeah and see whether it's loose okay, or because oh no. sometimes we see a lot of patients come with cotton buds stuck in their ears yeah. okay. and that just happened inadvertently from using the loose Lose bud. One. so very important i think i'm going to yeah. ask this question like, and don't you clean know. your ears with the um you know the, the feathers the feathers <laughs> i'm not with the matches either i'm not with the matches <laughs> either <laughs> I'm gonna ask the feathers you can i mean there are real infections that the chickens known and unknown are you serious yeah that you know the birds can you know, be you know people do yeah. that a lot you know yeah you, by the that time they can actually you get to, you get to transmit it yeah and, and it's so interesting that you just <laughs> find, find another thing Maybe. to pass your time 